There was a suit filed some years ago by former governor and former senator Bob Graham and uh, a host of others. The Board of Governors then joined in that lawsuit a couple of years ago to try to determine at the end of the day what is the final governance structure, who has responsibility for setting tuition, who has responsible for setting the duties and powers of the Board of Governors, of the local boards of trustees, et cetera. Um, that created acrimony. Uh, and uh, everyone would agree that the acri acrimony that was uh, created between the legislative branch and the Board of Governors has created a rift and, and has been uh, being dealt with over the last several years. But going forward, uh, some believe that's just the way it was going to have to be. Uh, I and many others, by the way, not just me, believe that there is an opportunity now. We've got change in people, we've got a change in environment. I think there is absolutely the opportunity to sit back down at the table. Representation of our Board of Governors and our Chairwoman is at that table right now, Sheila McDevitt, uh, representatives of the House and the Senate, to sit down at the table and see if we might be able to find our way through that lawsuit without taking it out uh, to uh, a, a judge's order. See if we can settle it prior to that, get back together, delineate these roles and responsibilities and move forward together to make sure our state university system can focus on what's good for the system in the future and remove this from the table. So I'm working very hard with many others on that right now to see if that's possible. And the good news there is, I think it is. Uh, the conversations we've had with the leadership of the House and the Senate, the conversations I've had with my own Board of Governors members, I believe there is great potential that we might be able to bring this thing in for a landing and get back onto the business of uh, doing what's good for our state university system.